I'd never normally want to say don't watch a channel, especially one what covers track and field, because obviously we all know we need more eyes on the sport. But this has just got to a point where I can't even not speak out on it. Like I've personally not watched this channel for a very long time because it's complete and utter rubbish. But it's got to a point where people knowing the information they're putting out, terrible thing for the sport. So I needed to speak on it. And also stay around for the end, because at the end of this video, we're really going to put the nail in the coffin of why you shouldn't watch this channel. And if you aren't convinced, this last point will definitely make you realise how terrible this person is for the sport. On the surface, it does seem great. A channel what's getting tens of thousands of views and sometimes millions of views bringing eyes to the sport. That is hashtag good for the sport. But for this channel in particular, these tens of thousands of views or hundreds of thousands, millions of views are extremely toxic and bad for the sport. And this is because the viewers of these videos, the runners videos, take what he says for fact and it's no fault of theirs because at the end of the day a credible youtube channel news reporting on track and field you're gonna believe it because he's got tens of thousands of subscribers and they take what he says as fact and what he says on his videos what he also passes off as fact is nothing more than complete and utter b like completely made up lies for views clickbait of titles clickbait of videos so bad information like you think he'd have an ounce of knowledge about the sport if he's making all these videos but he just doesn't it's horrendous and that leads me to the first specific point of this video which is the kipchoge banned shoe video which came out just before kipchoge's tokyo marathon so this video is all about how the vapor flies and alpha flies which if you don't know are the most popular marathon shoes from nike what everyone wears all the pros wear this video is about how they are now banned and I'm going to quote word for word exactly what was said in this video at one point, which was, Upon making this video, I realised one very important fact. That is that Elliot Kipchoge will not be allowed to run in the next percent or alpha flies. And then he goes on to say, because of the illegal stack height, nanotechnology air pockets and carbon plates. So let's just break that down. First of all, that is a completely made up statement. For people who are not familiar with the World Athletics rules, none of the things that he said apply to the Vaporfly or Alphafly, causing them to be banned. Yes, they've got air pockets. Yes, they have a high stack height and they do have a carbon plate. They are within regulation of stack height, which is 40 millimetres. He would have known that if he did one quick Google search. Air pockets aren't banned and carbon plates aren't banned. And you knew that if you just did one literal Google search. And what makes it even worse is this isn't like him assuming. He literally said in the quote, I realised one very important fact. So he's passing this video off as fact. Later on in the video, he said there was an announcement by IAAF. You'd think as a credible running news reporter on the YouTube channel, he'd know that IAAF isn't a thing anymore. It's called World Athletics, and that has been a thing for years and years. And also there's been no statement about how air pockets or certain stack heights below what vaporflies are or carbon plates are banned. That's never been a thing. He also goes on to say that Elliot Kipchoge's favourite training shoe is the Pegasus. Now, that isn't Elliot Kipchoge's favourite training shoe. He trains in the Alpha Fly and Vapor Fly and does quite a lot of his runs in the Nike Invincible and the Vimeiro. He does use the Pegasus, but to say that's his favourite training shoe, again, is just a false statement. And he also says the Pegasus is a mixture of the Vapor Fly and the Alpha Fly, but doesn't have air pockets. So, first of all, it's not a mixture of the Vapor Fly and the Alpha Fly, it has different foam. It's got no plate and it's not for racing, it's for training and easy runs. And it does have air pockets. The Pegasus has air pockets. So that also scraps anything that he just said. And another great thing about this video is he says, this is why you no longer see elite athletes wearing vapor flies and alpha flies because of the new rules. When have we never seen elite athletes not wearing banned shoes? Like it's never been a thing. I could go on about this video for longer. There's quite a few different other false claims and utter rubbish nonsense but this comment sums it up best so i'm going to leave the comment briefly so you can have a read and then we're going to go into the next specific point so as i was actually making this video i was quite blessed that the runner released another high quality complete utter rubbish video in this video, it was a recent Diamond League video on Thumbnail. Obviously, the Diamond League hasn't been since, like, September. So, for him to make a video now, fair enough. You can cover it if you haven't got any other content. 
but he kind of passed it off as if it just happened. First of all, the title and thumbnail. The thumbnail is from a completely different race. That's just clickbait. And it shows Borrega and Kajelcha when Kajelcha pulled Borrega. That didn't happen in this race. The race he's talking about, Borrega wasn't even in it. Secondly, the first thing in this video I absolutely love is that he is quoting how the race tactics went and quoted, this is what he described as perfect tactical racing. It's when you're up against someone, you know who can beat you. So you act like the underdog and stay under the radar. The runner is talking about Bellu Ebergawe, who for clearly he doesn't know this, is the 5k road world record holder and has also ran 726 for 3000 meters. So he's clearly not under the radar and he wasn't racing as an underdog. But if anyone listens to his advice, next time you go into a race, the best way to race it is thinking that everyone in the field can beat you and just race under the radar, whatever that means. What? Also in this video, he does mention how Kajelcha left Oregon Track Club, which is a completely different team to Oregon Project. And he also says Kajelcha has now joined a new track club. He hasn't. He trains by himself with his coach, who also coaches Sifan Hassan. As well as this, he says that Yomif Kajelcha does 100 miles a week and goes to bed at 8.30. And we did the, we did the thing what any credible content creator in track and field should do and actually find out the facts before we just blatantly state them. So we messaged Kajelcha's coach to find out what time he goes to sleep and how many miles he does. And as you can see, what he said is complete and utter. This is actually what Kajelcha does. And now I can go on about how in another video, Kipchoge's testing video, he completely made up the testing process and completely made up the results, which you can't find online anywhere. And they're just definitely not true. It was so many inaccuracies. Another video is a Jakob Ingebrigtsen video. And he goes on about how Jakob Ingebrigtsen does fart like training and he does long run sessions and he does 90 miles a week. So it's pretty common knowledge. Jakob does around 130 miles a week and the runner said 80 to 90. And it's also common knowledge, Jakob doesn't do long run sessions and he doesn't do far leg sessions, completely made up. He also says Jakob doesn't see anyone two weeks before his race. Jakob literally lives with his girlfriend and doesn't isolate for two weeks before any race, which is one of the reasons why he probably got covered recently. But again, it's just made up rubbish and obviously also you can go through his channel and see all the clickbait titles and clickbait thumbnails and complete inaccuracies throughout like you can watch any video and it'd be just filled with absolute rubbish so i wanted to keep this video quite short even though i am very passionate about this so the final one i wanted to mention which is by far the best is the fact that he has different channels and he claims to be this youtube guru he boasts on instagram about how he has a jaguar because of his videos money and how much money he's making and all this stuff and he has different channels. And so basically I was, I commented on one of his videos saying this should be classed as copyright infringement because under fair use where you can use footage if you provide education or news reporting, I was saying that because it's false information, it's not actually education. So it should be copyrighted. And he took that as he clearly wasn't happy. And he went on to one of my videos, which I asked permission to use by the creator I also gave credit to the creator. So it was a completely fine video. It was when Nick Griggs, who's an Irish teenager, ran 356 in the mile. And I asked the, the film of this video, can I share it? Because it, obviously 356 as a teenager is ridiculous. Here was the runner's response to my video and just shows how much he loves the sport, clearly. Wait, I thought I did reused content. First of all, does that make sense? What is this? a full stolen video of some twigs in debt running around in circles without a single bit of added valuable commentary. Hope my YouTube network partners don't see this. First of all, he doesn't have any new YouTube network partners. Second of all, he called Nick Griggs, an international athlete who's also the European under 20 champion in the 3000 meters, a twig in debt running around in circles. So it just shows he clearly loves this sport and uh, is very knowledgeable. That it's ridiculous. I just say now, I could go on forever about all the inaccuracies and all the things wrong with his channel, as well as the specifics we mentioned within this video. That is consistent throughout the whole channel and all of the runners' videos. 
So please, for track and field information, watch channels like Total Running Productions or even Trackster, and dare I even say it, Flow Track.